पाकिस्तान के वजूद का कोई सवाल नहीं उठता चाहे कुछ हो जाए वी हैव क्रिएटेड टुडेज क्राइसिस आई एम नॉट कंपेयरिंग इट टू 71 इट्स नॉट द सेम क्राइसिस बट इट इज अ मेजर क्राइसिस वाज ऑर्गेनिक दिस वाज इन ऑर्गेनिक लाइक ऑल ग्रेट थिंग्स आर अल्टीमेटली इन ऑर्गेनिक इस इंसान की तखलीक ऑर्गेनिक थी कुन फयकून ब्रो सो नो यहां पे बेचारा हमारा कप्तान 300 किनाल के जो उसने यू नो छोटा सा झुग्गी बनाई है तो उसके पीछे लोग पड़े हुए हैं अरदान ने तो 1300 कमरों का महल बनाया है Pakistan's existence from day one has been contaminated by the occupation, the illegal occupation of Kashmir by our neighbor. These things are not validated <coughs> by that thing. And again, क्योंकि हमें इतनी आदत हो गई है ट्वीट की कि मुझे जल्दी से ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट में समझाओ अच्छा क्या है बुरा क्या है. And so we want all of Balochistan to be DHA, but not DHA. in terms of who's controlling it so national and uh, always there's always something else so that is the ultimate injustice with the people of balochistan how are you musharraf i'm good uh acha to begin to start of our conversation i would like to ask ke how do you stay sane uh, with being so much active on twitter uh well i think the judgment on whether i'm sane or not is still out there <laughs> there's uh but alhamdulillah i was blessed with a a family especially a mother and a father who uh, luckily you know somehow transferred their faith to me to agar aapko allah taala par yaqeen hai aur uh, rasool e pak sallallahu alaihi wasallam ke aap ummati apne aap ko samajhte hain aur mera kyunke uh, main zaidi hu to ye jo hum blood line claim karte hain Uh, इसकी भी कुछ जिम्मेदारियां भी हैं और कुछ मुझे लगता है इसके कुछ uh, फवायद भी हैं uh, बुजुर्गों की दुआएं बट अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह टू थिंग्स अबाउट द ऑनलाइन एक्सपीरियंस एक ये कि मैं uh, जिसको लाइक्स और रीट्वीट चेसिंग कहते हैं वो hmm. मैं नहीं करता ऑब्वियसली आई यू नो मैं हूँ सोशल मीडिया पे और इंगेज uh, करता हूँ और जहाँ तक हो सकता है लोगों के साथ भी इंगेज करना पसंद करता हूँ लेकिन कुछ बड़ी मखसूस लाइन्स हैं जो मुझे लगता है अक्सर लोग शायद जाने में नहीं अनजाने में इसलिए ले जाते हैं क्योंकि वो जो डोपमीन हिट होती है ना जब बहुत सारे लोग आपको आपकी तारीफ करें या आपके हामी तो अल्लाह का शुक्र है मेरी तारीफ या हामी होने वाली तो बहुत कम वो मतलब अक्सरियत जो है वह तनकीद ही होती है जब एक पार्टी बरसर इकतदार होती है तो उनके जो फॉलोअर्स हैं वो नाराज़ रहते हैं और वो फिर नाराज़गी भूलते नहीं हैं फिर जब दूसरी पार्टी या ग्रुप्स बरसर इकतदार होते हैं तो उनकी नाराज़गियाँ शुरू हो जाती हैं इसका ये मतलब नहीं कि मैं अपने आप को बड़ा ऑब्जेक्टिव समझता हूँ मैं मैं समझता हूँ इंसान स्पेशली सोचने और आ, महसूस करने वाला इंसान जो है वो ऑब्जेक्टिव या न्यूट्रल होना तो मेरा ख्याल है मुश्किल है मेरी बड़ी अपनी लाइक्स और डिसलाइक्स हैं लेकिन कोशिश मैं ये करता हूँ कि जो मंतक है ये यू नो द लॉजिक विद विच वी असेस ऑफ द प्रोसेस ऑफ एनालिसिस दैट शुड बी रोबस्ट इनफ दैट इट डजन मैटर हाउ मच यू लाइक समन इफ दे डूइंग समथिंग रॉन्ग इट शुड सीम रॉन्ग इट शुड फील रॉन्ग एंड इवन इफ यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू से इट्स रॉन्ग यू शुड नो इट्स रॉन्ग एंड इफ यू रियली डिसक सम बट दे डूइंग समथिंग राइट दैन you not liking them shouldn't get in the way of feeling like you know yaar bande ne kaam theek kiya ab shayad kahe na lekin at least aapko pata hona chahiye yaar banda waise banda theek nahi hai lekin ye baat isne jo ki hai ya ye jo kaam ye kar raha hai ye bada kaam kar so i think allah ka shukr hai i'm able to do that and hmm. the maybe the satisfaction of being able to continue to do that over a long time abhi main kisi se mila to unhone mere column ke bare mein kuch pucha to maine kaha maine column 2007 mein shuru kiya tha तो आप कितने साल के थे उस वक्त तो वो जवान मतलब बड़ा अच्छा वेल मैनर्ड यू नो प्रोफेशनल तो उसने कहा मैं सात साल का था तो मैंने कहा कि मतलब यू नो सो सो आई बिन डूइंग इट फॉर लॉन्ग टाइम एंड अलहमदल आई थिंक दैट आल्सो हेल्प्स क्रिएट सैनिटी बिकॉज आपने ऊंच नीच देखी हुई है आपने बड़े सारे लोगों के अच्छे दिन भी देखे हुए और बुरे दिन भी देखे हुए और हमेशा ये दुआ रहती है कि मेरी आवाज़ का जो कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन है वो सबके अच्छे दिनों में कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट करे किसी को कोई अननेसेसरली uh, कोई चीज हर्ट ना करे आई जस्ट आई थिंक द आंसर क्वेश्चन इज बिकॉज आई एम लकी 
because I'm my father's son and my mother's son and because I'm very, very lucky. All right. So my next question would be, who is Musharraf Zaidi? Uh, I am uh, a Muslim uh, right. that is deeply invested in the idea of Pakistan. I love the idea of Pakistan, uh, a place where South, Mus South Asia's Muslims could be, could feel safe and could pursue what I believe is their destiny, which is glory. Uh, glory in ilm, in, in knowledge, um, glory in uh, rizq, in wealth, uh, glory in conducting ourselves in an ahsan and afzal way, uh, protectors of the weak, uh, above all things, uh, a safe haven uh, as a homeland for those that are persecuted. So, so you believe in two nation theory, right? Yeah, I think it's almost a two nation theory. It's a downgrade. It's like the economy class ticket. Of, of how we think about Pakistan. So, we have to first class or business class. So, what is the business class version of this thing that we call two nation theory? It's not really, because two nation theory also makes it sound like it's about differentiating ourselves, which it isn't. I mean, I think that South Asia's Muslims are and have been always, have elevated hmm. uh, this, this region. The idea of India is not uh, complete without South Asia's Muslims. So the idea of India is also not complete without Pakistan in a positive light, not negative. Too much of two nation theory or this whole discourse is our manfi and nafi. It's so driven by what I am not and what bad they did to me. And I'm saying, well, yes, there are legitimate complaints that South Asia's Muslims have with how they've been treated. But South Asia's Muslims should not forget uh, the dignity with which they must carry themselves. Uh, South Asia's Muslims have... The, the way they have ruled. Exactly. If you ruled for as long as you did, you don't get to then just be like, this whole bechargi, the world is against us. Uh, these people are against us. We're being mistreated. This complaining narrative, right? And by the way, you find a lot of that today across the board. Jitne siyasi leader hain, jitne fauj mein leader hain, jitne intellectual hain, Myself included, I in not fall in category, mein fall karta. but just as a person, I also find myself, especially these days, constantly complaining, constantly uh, whining. I don't think it is dignified for South Asia's Muslim to whine. It is only dignified for South Asia's Muslim to rise above himself or herself, to care for their community, to be a protector for the weak, uh, and to expect more from oneself. So I think you asked me who I am. This is, this is very important to who I am, but there are other parts of me. I think any individual, you, me, anybody that's watching, we're not just one thing. So I'm, I mean, I love the Toronto Maple Leafs uh, with, a, with a very, I would say like almost a slightly insane, ki aapne baat ki, ek insane passion in uh, this team. Ka. Mm -hmm. I was born in Canada, in Southern Ontario. Mein. So I became a Leafs fan when I was really young. And that virus has never left me. And it's a really important part of, you know, uh, how I look at the world. Uh, at which, which is uh, slightly cynically because we haven't won anything since 1967. Uh, mm -hmm. But there's other parts of me. My family is very important to me. My work is very important to me. Um, Food is very important to me. So a person has have multiple identities. So that 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 is the case everyone sitting over here. So okay. So first of all, like I have come to know that you are, you very much believe in the state and creation of the state of Pakistan, or the current political crisis, the current poly crisis in Pakistan, especially have raised questions in the creation of the state of Pakistan. So, you understand that when it was made on that, where we have went wrong? So, first of all, they haven't raised those questions for me. Uh, the question of existence, Achha. 
uh, is not directly related to the cur current failure. Countries have been through a lot. I don't think your Rwanda went through a really horrific genocide. And of course, at the time, it felt like that country doesn't deserve to exist. Uh, Rwandans themselves felt ashamed and just, it was horrible. Uh, but you know, Rwanda spent the first two decades of this century rebuilding from that uh, catastrophe. And in many ways, was a superstar economy. Ethiopia, my generation, Ethiopia was associated with famine. There was this big concert live yeah. aid. Uh, hum, chai Pakistan mein ho ya West mein, uh, we used to refer to yar ye to Ethiopian lag raha hai. Agar koi kamzor lagta tha, we, it became a pejorative. The word Ethiopia was associated with muflisi and poverty and hunger and weakness. Mm, Ethiopian Airlines just started flights to Pakistan two weeks ago. It's one of the most successful airlines in the world. The Ethiopian uh, governance framework has delivered economic growth that is the uh, that is the sort of darling of development economists. Uh, they've gone through some tough times recently with the conflict in Ethiopia. But, you know, countries go through a lot and then they, they bounce back and it takes a long time. And when you're 23 years old, which is the median age in Pakistan, which is why I always cite it. At 23, nobody has time for Musharraf Zaidi asking them to be patient because it takes 20 years. At 23, you just want to kill you know, because things are so bad and you have no hope and no opportunity. So, you know, this person who's, or these people, or this voice, or this narrative of calm down, just, just anybody even asking you to calm down, to be reasonable, to be rational, that in and, of, in and of itself is offensive because you're 23 and then you have climate change and you have no jobs yeah. and you have no hopes. Uh, no dreams, uh, you have lots of dreams, but no chance of maybe, you feel like you have no chance of living those dreams. So people, young people don't want to hear uh, patients. But I guess what I'm saying is, to answer your question, Pakistan ke wujood ka koi sawal nahi uthta, chahi kuch ho jaye. Aap ke liye nahi uthta na, lekin bhoat saaron ke liye to uthta hai. Mera khayal hai ke bhoat saaron ke liye uthta hai, aur log bhoat masoom hai. Aur yeh humne pichle 10-12 saal mein humne dekha hai, ke logon ki Pakistaniyo ki masoomiyat, का नाजायज फायदा जो है वो किस किस तरह से उठाया जाता है तो आज भी जो मासूम पाकिस्तानी है जो ये जज्बा फील करते हैं और वो 23 साल के भी नहीं वो 63 साल के भी हों 83 साल के भी हों तो उनमें वो पाकिस्तान से मोहब्बत जो है वो तो है बहुत सारे ऐसे लोग जो आजकल पाकिस्तान से बड़े नाराज हैं पाकिस्तान के रियासत से नाराज हैं फौज से बहुत नाराज हैं पाकिस्तान के वजूद को क्वेश्चन कर रहे हैं उनके जज्बात को एक तो 10 12 साल 15 साल इस्तेमाल किया गया और फिर आज उनकी जो जज्बात हैं उनको एक مختلف انداز سے استعمال کیا جا رہا ہے پاکستان کے دشمنوں کی فہرست جو ہے وہ بہت لمبی اس لیے نہیں کہ پاکستان میں کوئی بہت بڑا کسی چیز کا ذخیرہ ہے لیکن اس لیے کیونکہ پاکستان ایک بہت ہی جیسے میں نے پہلے کہا اٹس ا ویری یونیک ایکسپیریمنٹ اینڈ اٹ از پوٹینشلی گلوریس ایک تو ہم نے بات کی پاکستان کی وتھ رسپیکٹ ٹو یو نو وین وی سی ٹو نیشن تھیوری آئی تھنک اٹ لمٹس پاکستان بیکاز پاکستان آلسو ہیز لاٹس آف unhappy people who are Persian and lots of unhappy people who speak Persian but are from Afghanistan who call themselves Afghan, right? Um, they don't have a religious uh, problem with, with Pakistanis. So what is their problem? Well, their problem is that Pakistan was invented. It's not a natural, it's not even a name of a place, right? Most countries, yeah. unki, ya identity hoti, ethnicity hoti, language hoti hai, ya wo kisi jaga se munsulik naam hota hai jaga ka, right? No. Punjab is a name of a place because it's Punj jade, uh, wo hai. Nahi, Punj uh, Punj Darya uh, Punj Darya jade, oh, you know they they meet in the Punjab so that's yeah. why we have Punjab so uh, Pakistan unlike Punjab is in uh, or Balochistan which is the land of the Baloch or Sindh which is you know the land of the Sindhu or uh, Pakhtunkhwa which is the land of the Pakhtuns diverse Pakistan, ethnicities yes yeah. but Pakistan is is a, is a, it's a made up name. And so the Persians and the Afghans, and I would say the Mongols, the Central Asians, the Turkics, and of course, the, um, our, our cousins in India, the majority population there, our uh, Brahmin and, uh, you know, Kshatriya and, and uh, sort of other castes uh, that are our cousins by virtue of being neighbors, but also by, by bloodlines. Yeah. Um, 
all of them have this anxiety about this thing that's made up. And so, uh, you know, I, I think cognizant of the grandness of this experiment or this project. And if it's a grand project, it will see difficult times. And we have seen difficult times. And these are not times that were created by our neighbors. Just because people are anxious, all of our most profound difficulties have been created by us. 1971, yes, there were uh, factors and actors that were taking advantage of a situation that we created. We created unhappiness with our brothers and sisters. So then people came in and they took advantage. We have created today's crisis. I'm not comparing it to 71. It's not the same crisis, but yeah. it is a major crisis. We have created this ourselves. Now, lots of Pakistan's unhappy, the discontents or the malcontents of Pakistan, who are not Pakistani, but who are from other places, for them, this narrative fits their worldview. Questioning the existence of why Pakistan should even exist fits right in with the narratives of many groups. Uh, that don't like the idea of Pakistan. So for me, that's why I, I don't accept the question. That Pakistan ke vajood ka sawal a gaya. Pakistan ke vajood ka sawal nahi hai. Har mulk ke bade bade muskil daur rahe hai. Ye muskil mulk hai. Anatole Levin ne kitab likhi hai. A hard country. It's, it's the perfect title. It's a hard country because it's, a, it's difficult to surmise. It's difficult to fathom or process. And... And the argument still exists. Just because I deny the existence of the argument doesn't mean it, is, it exists. Pakistanis are asking this question. Yeah. And so my response is, it's supposed to be this hard because it's, a, it's not an ordinary country. It's a special project. It's a special formulation. And so it's going to be harder. And, and we're going through that. Do you think that this experiment was organic? This was inorganic. Like All great things are ultimately inorganic. انسان کی تخلیق جب ہوئی ہے تو سارے جو ملائکہ تھے اور جن تھے انہوں نے ایکسپٹ کیا تھا انسان کی تخلیق آرگینک تھی کن فیکون برو نو لائک تھنک اباؤٹ اٹ رائٹ لائک دس آئیڈیا آرگینک مطلب آرگینک یو نو وٹ دیٹس لائک سنگ وائی کینٹ وی جسٹ لیٹ اٹ بی وائی ڈڈ جنا صاحب ہیو ٹو یو نو ڈو دس ویل وی کن لیٹ اٹ بی بیکاز اٹ واز ان رائٹ And Jinnah Saab was, wrong, was not wrong. He was right. And he was so right that at the time that he was right, he was less right. And he's more right today. He had a foresight of 100, 1,000 years. May Allah be pleased with him. May Allah bless his soul. May we all be Muhammad Ali Jinnah. But like, how would you defend that? Ke us time pe, abhi, abhi aap, are you saying that the current situation hai in India, you're us, saying that the treatment of Muslims is happening with Muslims. The primary argument for the safe haven that this is supposed to be, it's not, that's our failing. But the idea, the argument was that if we all have to live together, the likelihood is that the majoritarian impulses of this together South Asia will be too much to resist. And so the minorities are going to feel unbearable pressure. That's the idea. So let's have a safe haven that is that frees both that majority of that burden and this minority of that oppression. Has it worked in that way? No. And so we can talk at length that our what is wrong with us. And you will probably know me better that how many wrongs of the 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 ہمارا اپنے بوڑھوں کے ساتھ کیا بیکاز یہ ایک ڈیموگرافک چیز ابھی آ رہی ہے اگلے پچیس سال میں ہم نے اپنے معاشرے کے ساتھ کیا کیا ہم نے اپنی اقلیتوں کے ساتھ کیا کیا ہے ہم نے ان کو جو اقلیتیں نہیں تھیں ان کو اقلیت بنا کے ان کے ساتھ کیا کیا رائٹ یہ سب کچھ ہمارے سامنے ہم نے اپنی معیشت کن لوگوں کے ہاتھ میں دے دی انہوں نے کیا تباہی جو ہے برپا کی ہے سب ہمارے ذمہ داری ہے لیکن ان سب خامیوں کا جو خمیازہ ہے وہ قائد اعظم کو یا ان کی روح کو نہیں بھگتنا چاہیے اور وہ کبھی نہیں بھگتیں گے وہ تو جو چیز دے کے گئے ہمیں اس کی رکھوالی ہماری ذمہ داری تھی اس کا جو وہ ہائی آئیڈیلز تھے پلورلزم فیڈرلزم اور جمہوریت کے ان ہائی آئیڈیلز پہ نہ پورا اترنے کی کیا وجوہات تھیں 
وہ ہماری خامی ہے اور اس میں آئی کین ایون گو فردر اس میں پرنسپل جو فالٹ ہے وہ ہمارے ہماری فوج کی ہے ہماری فوج سے رہا نہیں جاتا اتنی زیادہ وہ محبت کرتی ہے پاکستان سے کہ وہ کہتی ہے کہ چھوڑو سب کچھ ہم اس کو سنبھالتے ہیں اور بار بار اس نے یہ کیا اور بار بار وہ فیل ہوئی ہے اس میں اور جو اس کا اصل کام ہے اس میں وہ کامیاب رہی ہے پاکستان کا آج بھی وجود جو ہے وہ ہمارے جوانوں اور سپاہیوں اور ہمارے جو جاسوس اور ہمارے جو جہاز اڑانے والے اور جو جہاز کو ٹھیک رکھنے والے اور جو کھانا پکاتے ہیں میس میں ان سب کے کندھوں پہ ہماری آزادی اور جو وجود ہے وہ ڈپینڈ کرتا ہے بٹ وٹ وی ڈونٹ وانٹ and what is threatening our existence as a viable and successful country is the repeated intervention of these people in an area that they have no business and no expertise in but that too does not lead to questions about the existence of, uh, of Pakistan Indonesia in 1998 was much worse off the Indonesian military had much greater control of governance and of the economy than Pakistan has ever had or ever given to its military But nobody was asking questions about the existence of Indonesia. Turkey, until recently, mm. has had a military that thinks it knows better than the people of Turkey. And they kept making that mistake and they couldn't get out of it. And they kept making it, kept making it, and now they've gotten out of it. And look at Turkey. As a middle power, there is maybe no comparator to how well they've done. Do they have a perfect uh, leader? No. Do they have a perfect system? No. Do they have corruption? Yes. Loads of it. Erdogan built a 1300 room palace. I, I, I mean, I don't know how else, like, you know, you, you know. یہاں پہ بےچارا ہمارا کپتان تین سو کنال کے جو اس نے جو چھوٹا سا جگی بنائی ہے تو اس کے پیچھے لوگ پڑے ہوئے ہیں اردوگان نے تو تیرہ سو کمروں کا محل بنایا تو آئی تھنک دیٹ واز دیٹ واز آن اے لائٹر نوٹ رائٹ بیکاز آئی وانٹ کیپ اٹ سیریس بٹ آئی تھنک دس کوشچن آف پاکستان دیر از نو کوشچن آف پاکستان سو دس از سم تھنگ دیٹ آر آڈینس فوڈ ٹیل اس ان دا کامنٹس کہ وہ کیا سمجھتے ہیں اس بارے میں لیٹس موو ٹورڈس دا کرنٹ کرائسس دا اکنامکس دا پولیٹیکل ون ہوم شوڈ وی بلیم دیٹ دے آر ریسپانسبل فار دس آئی مین دا کوشچن دیٹ آئی وانٹ ان دا ڈسکورس از ہاؤ ڈو وی گیٹ آؤٹ آف دس پہلے میرے خیال سے ہم ڈی کوڈ کر لیں کہ کون کون لے گیا ہے یا آئی مین اٹس اے سیم آنسر بٹ اٹس اٹس فلپ آن اٹس ہیڈ دا ریزن آئی فریم اٹ لائک دیٹ مائی بردر از دیٹ آئی تھنک وی ہیو اے ریسپانسبلٹی ٹو ریکنسٹرکٹ دا پبلک ڈسکورس ان دس کنٹری آفٹر واٹس بن ڈن ٹو اٹ اوور دا لاسٹ ٹین ففٹین ایئرس میں نے بار بار دس بارہ دس پندرہ دس بارہ یہ میں بار بار کہہ رہا ہوں دیکھنے والا شاید اس کو منسلک کرے گا خان صاحب کی رائز کے ساتھ جو اس کا ایک حصہ ہے لیکن یہ خان صاحب نے انیکٹ نہیں کیا اس پبلک ڈسکورس کو پوائزن کیا تو ہمارے فوجی حکام نے کیا اور اس کی جو وجوہات تھیں ان میں کچھ وجوہات سمجھ آتی ہیں اور کچھ وجوہات کا کوئی جو ہے وہ بیسس نہیں ہے اور ان کو ایسا نہیں کرنا چاہیے تھا سوال اکثر وہ مجھ سے یہ کرتے ہیں کہ آپ چاہتے ہیں کہ ہم نواز شریف اور مریم نواز شریف اور زرداری صاحب اور اب عمران خان کے ہاتھ میں یہ چھوڑ دیں اور اس کے جواب یہ کہ ون ہنڈریڈ پرسینٹ اس ملک کے الیکٹڈ لیڈروں کے ہاتھ میں چھوڑ دیں اگر وہ مولانا فضل الرحمان ہے تو ان کے ہاتھ میں چھوڑ دیں اگر وہ اسفند یار ولی خان ہے تو ان کے ہاتھ میں چھوڑ دیں اگر وہ سراج الحق ہیں تو ان کے ہاتھ میں چھوڑ دیں اور آج عمران خان ہے واز عمران خان ریئلی این الیکٹڈ لیڈر می بی ناٹ maybe not as cleanly and well not maybe absolutely not in 2018 in 2018 the election was manipulated but was it manipulated zero one hundred yani ke mukammal ya kuch popularity thi yeah thi na aaj hai ya nahi aaj bhi hai aaj bhi hai aaj bhi aaj bhi unko aaj unko wo agency deny ho rahi hai jo 2018 mein sharif khandan ko deny hui thi hmm تو یہ ایک تسلسل اس سے پہلے اس سے پہلے بھی یہ آپ اف یو گو بیک ان ہسٹری تو آلویز بن انٹروینشن اینڈ انٹرفیئرنس ان آور پولیٹیکل پروسیس ٹو پریونٹ آرگینک آؤٹ کمس یو ٹاک ٹو آرگینک وی نیڈ آرگینک پالیٹکس ٹو ٹیک روٹ اینڈ دیٹ آرگینک پالیٹکس ول پروڈیوس بوتھ انسیملی اینڈ پازیٹیو آؤٹ کمس 
In India, it's produced a majoritarian Hindu supremacist regime, but it's also produced the kind of economic growth that actually no country, I think now increasingly, even China is going to struggle to keep up with the pace of growth in India. Over the next 10 years, India's growth is going to really devastate everybody's expectations. It's not going to stop growing. And a lot of that has to do with the kind of decision making that a legitimate popular leadership is able to take. But if you keep destroying popularity by poking holes, nobody's perfect. Yeah. Uh, everything that everyone else is learning about Imran Khan, I've known for 10 years or 15 years, right? Which is why I'm not an Imran Khan supporter. But if the people of Pakistan choose Imran Khan, they should be able to choose Imran Khan. Exactly like when people chose Nawaz Sharif in 2013, he should not have been interfered with in the way that he was. And he was. In 2014, there was a massive uh, protest enacted on the footsteps of our parliament, de desecrating our parliament, desecrating the PTV building, destroying any hope of momentum, postponing the visit of President Xi Jinping to Pakistan. Was that right? No. no that Is what's right. happening to Imran Khan right today? No. But the people of Pakistan should be making their own choices. And those, the determination of wrong or right, I can have my opinion and you can have yours. And the army should have its own opinion as an institution and individually. But whatever the actual outcome is of an election, that should be allowed to sustain itself for the full duration, just like 150, 200 other countries on the planet. It's not so much that this is Pakistan. That this is the only country where fully functioning democracy is not viable. So I think we need to do better. Musharraf, where was it like uh, India started where they went into a, like a better democracy than us? Or hum, hum, like this can be a basic question, a naive question, but I would like to know your opinion on this. Ke, kaun si asi thi ke, was that the first time the coup tha, wahan se ye start hui, ya, jo bureaucrat ne usko wo kiya, support kiya hai. Bureaucrat came into the government. I have a simplistic view on this, which hmm. you know a lot of my historian friends will dislike, uh, which is okay. Um, Principally, when you have a very ambitious project that is inorganic, the one thing you don't want is spoilers. Pakistan's existence from day one has been contaminated by the occupation, the illegal occupation of Kashmir by our neighbor and by the refusal of another neighbor to accept the border which has created an innate structural insecurity at an existential level. So, I can't fix the question of should Pakistan exist or not, agar koi sawal pushta hai, right? Because it's a philosophical question. But somebody out there can answer the question of is this Pakistan's border or not? And so, our military has grown in stature because we have had neighbors that refuse to accept our existence as a viable entity. This is the biggest proof that in 1971, what happened was wrong. But uh, enablement, financing, support, sustenance, all of that Hindustan has given. Mukti Bahai didn't give it. All of that was obviously popular, but it was given a lot. This is all of us. So, the issue is not that Pakistan was wrong. The issue is that the question you ask is why did Pakistan have chosen different paths? Hmm. Pakistan has not chosen it, man. It wasn't that Pakistan ko bithaya aur kaya, sir, chai ya coffee. Or Pakistan ne ka, nahi yaar, mujhe zahir de do. Oh, bhai, sirf zahir hi option tha. Because sirf zahir hi tod sakta tha, us zahir ko, jo Pakistan ke upar haavi tha. Or aaj bhi hai. Now, it's, it's simplistic. Because it doesn't justify Pakistan rangers running water tanker mafias in Karachi. It doesn't justify awarding every highway and road contract to FWO and LLC. It doesn't justify acres of land being awarded to senior officers in the military. Corporate land. Uh, agriculture. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, drama shuru. These things are not validated <coughs> by that thing. And again, because we have so much time to tweet, 
कि मुझे जल्दी से ब्लैक एंड वाइट में समझाओ अच्छा क्या है बुरा क्या है इसीलिए मैंने आपका जवाब नहीं दिया कि हु इज टू ब्लेम इट्स कॉम्प्लिकेटेड सो स्ट्रक्चरली इंस्टीट्यूशनली आवर मिलिटरी इज डोमिनेंट एंड दैट डोमिनेंस हैज अ कॉस्ट एंड दैट कॉस्ट इज मिस गवर्नेंस बोथ ऑफ द इकोनॉमी एंड ऑफ पॉलिटिक्स बट देर इज अ सेंटेंस एंड अ पैराग्राफ आफ्टर दैट भाई वो कॉस्ट को एक्सैसरबेट कौन कर रहा है किस किस दैट्स मी सेंसरिंग माई सेल्फ किस किसने फोर्स किया था इस हुकूमत को मफ्ता इसमाइल को चेंज करने पर कि जी मफ्ता इसमाइल को हटा के इस हाथ डार को लगा दें क्या मजबूरी थी क्या फौज ने कि, किसी फौजी ने क्या प्लॉट ज्यादा ले लिए थे इस वजह से ये हुआ है या हिंदुस्तान अटैक कर रहा था इसलिए वज... नहीं ऑल दो आई थिंक डार साहब की अब ये कोशिश है कि वो इस तरह दिखाएं कि ये सारा इकोनॉमिक क्राइसिस इसलिए हो रहा है कि पूरी दुनिया आपके खिलाफ है ये नैरेटिव बिल्ड हो रहा है चंद दिनों से ये जो ये जो झूठ है ना इस तरह के झूठ एक दफा नहीं और एक पार्टी नहीं फौज हो सियासतदान हो ब्यूरोक्रैट हो जितनी पाकिस्तान की अशराफिया है वो खुद झूठ पे पले और पूरे मुल्क को क्योंकि वो बड़े होते हैं किसी मुल्क की अशराफिया भी हम गालियां देते ना लेकिन वो हैं हमारे बड़े अब वह गालियां इसलिए देते हैं कि वो बड़े बन के नहीं दिखाते ना लेकिन आपके मुल्क के बड़े आप खुद झूठ पे पले और आपको झूठ पे पाल रहे और उस झूठ के बदौलत आपका क्राइसिस एक के बाद दूसरे लेवल दूसरे से तीसरे तीसरे से चौथे इट्स ऑलमोस्ट लाइक दिस डेथ स्पायर स्पेशली द इकोनॉमिक सर्कमस्टांस इन दिस कंट्री वी आर नॉट आउट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड एंड इट्स मोर देन लाइकली द थिंग्स विल गेट मच वर्स जस्ट दिस कैलेंडर ईयर देन दे एवर हैव बिन बिफोर एंड अगले साल का तो कोई कह नहीं सकता क्योंकि अभी ये साल भी आधा अभी आधा भी पूरा नहीं हुआ जून इट्स बिन रफ ईयर बट इट्स गिन गेट मच रफ सो हाउ डू यू सी बलोचिस्तान का केस अब आपने मुझे ये आपने ये बोला कि जो पाकिस्तान है वो बहुत सारे क्राइसिस और उसकी एक वजह ये थी कि लाइक हमारे नेबर्स इस तरह के थे हमारी सिक्योरिटी सिचुएशन इस तरह की थी तो मैंने सिर्फ ये नहीं बोला मैं फिर से वाजे कर दूँ क्योंकि क्लिप यहाँ से शुरू होगा ना नहीं नहीं यहाँ से हम नहीं कट करेंगे पूरी कन्वर्सेशन इसमें होगी तो मतलब बलोचिस्तान का फिर जो क्राइसिस है या बलोचिस्तान में इंसर्जेंसी है वो भी बाहर से इंस्टिल हो रही है स्टिल यही लॉजिक है और जो हम ऑपरेशन कर रहे हैं जो हम फोर्स डिसअपेरेंस कर रहे हैं बलोचिस्तान में तो क्या वो भी जरूरी है टू सेव दिस स्टेट ऑफ पाकिस्तान नो एनफोर्स डिसअपियरेंस इज जरूरी टू सेव द स्टेट ऑफ पाकिस्तान वेदर इट्स इमरान रियाज खान और इट्स यंग बलोच मैन एंड वुमेन ओवर द लास्ट डेकेड एंड हाफ ऑलमोस्ट टू डेकेड्स नाउ दो हजार छः से ये वाली इंसर्जेंसी शुरू हुई थी ये किसी फॉरन गवर्नमेंट ने तो हमें नहीं कहा था कि नवाब अकबर बुक्ति को शहीद कर दो किसने किया हमने किया हमने किया तो अगर हमने ये फैसला किया कि हम लीडरों को इस तरह जो है उड़ा सकते हैं पंजाब वाले अभी भी उड़ा नहीं सकते उनको जेल के थ्रू उड़ाते हैं अल्लाह का शुक्र है बिकॉज यू डोंट वांट पंजाब टू बिकम बलोचिस्तान बट इट्स ईजियर टू डून बलोचिस्तान बिकॉज बलोचिस्तान में लोग कम है उनकी आवाज कम है उनके उनके लिए वॉकिंग फ्रॉम बलोचिस्तान टू द कोर कमांडर्स हाउस is much more difficult than it is for a bunch of dha uh, friends and families to walk from their homes to core commander house in lahore the confidence with which they do it and and the lack of confidence in both just that i think tells you a part of the story uh, so, but our foreign uh, governments and external actors taking advantage of our mistakes in balochistan 100% aur isme dekhe na aap you can come at me on any set of questions and i will confirm and validate that in almost all those questions there is an element of pakistani uh, self deceit and incompetence and dishonesty uh, and thuggery badmashi hmm. jo hum apne saath karte ek element uska hoga aur ek element uh, beruni taakaton ka jo hame abhi tak tasleem nahi kar payi hai जो चाहती हैं कि एक गिरती हुई दीवार को एक धक्का और दो वाले सेंटिमेंट पे वो सत्तर साल से क्योंकि उनके जहन में उनकी सोच में उनके वर्ल्ड व्यू में ये शुरू से गिरती दीवार थी क्योंकि ये इनऑर्गेनिक और ग्रैंड एम्बिशियस एक्सपेरिमेंट था तो 
जो इस एक्सपेरिमेंट का हिस्सा नहीं बनना चाहता या जो एक्साइटेड नहीं है इसके बारे में उसके लिए तो गिरती हुई दीवार है ना अदल से अब तक इट्स गोइंग टू स्टे लाइक दिस सो वट यू नीड इज अ नेशनल डिफेंस सिस्टम दैट इज रोबस्ट एंड वट इज दैट मीन इट मीन्स द पीपल ऑफ बलोचिस्तान शुड बी द रिचेस्ट पाकिस्तानीज ऑन दिस प्लान द रोड इन बलोचिस्तान शुड बी द बेस्ट रोड इन दिस कंट्री The schools in Balochistan should be the best schools in the country. The water in Balochistan should be the sweetest, cleanest water. The buildings in Quetta, downtown Quetta, should be the tallest skyscrapers in Pakistan. The coffee shops in Quetta, that and and in Khuzdar and in Awaran and in Kila Saifullah and in Mustung, should be selling. coffee to young girls and boys pakhtuns baloch settlers punjabis mahajir sindhis that live there and work there girls and boys that go there they should be they sh- they should live the the dha life throughout balochistan and i keep picking up the dha because that that is for middle class pakistanis jo udhar pale bade hain unke liye itna consciousness nahi hai lekin jo us हिस्से से नहीं है कराची के या लाहौर के उनको पता है कि उनकी फैमिली या उनकी जो सोशो इकोनॉमिक एस्पिरेशन हैं उनकी जो चूटी चोटी है दीलोस द एपैक्स ऑफ सोशो इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ इन दिस कंट्री इज मूविंग फ्रॉम मोहलपुरा टू डी एच ए और मूविंग फ्रॉम फेडरल बी एरिया टू डी एच ए राइट एंड सो वी वॉन्ट ऑल ऑफ बलोचिस्तान टू बी डी एच ए बट नॉट डी एच ए इन टर्म्स ऑफ हुज कंट्रोलिंग एट because it won't happen those people can only create dha as enclaves to make the whole thing have the dha experience you need something different than what we've tried so far killing akbar bukti is not the right way uh, disappearing a baloch uh, is not the right way being angry and calling names to people who chant various things about the pakistani military is not the right way if somebody is saying something wrong about the pakistani military the question we should ask is how could somebody hate their own protector so much and we should be fixing that problem not trying to fix the young man jo narebazi karta hai behuda kisam ki mere liye hmm. behuda lekin uske liye sach ye jo tazad hai ki mere liye ek cheez behuda hai aur us naujawan bachchi hai bachche ke liye wo sach hai is tazad ko solve kare na yaar बजाय इसके कि आप कहें कि नहीं ये फॉरेन फंडेड है सब कुछ या आप ये कहें कि ये पाकिस्तान का वजूद ही जो है ये दो एक्सट्रीम्स है ना और आप और मिलिट्री कोर्ट्स में उनके ट्रायल भी करें तो फिर तो मेरे ख्याल से वो तो सो आई थिंक दैट्स पार्ट ऑफ अ सेपरेट प्रॉब्लम नॉट द बलोचिस्तान प्रॉब्लम बट द सेम दैट द थिंग दैट हैपन आफ्टर नाइन ऑन नाइन्थ मे कि वहाँ पर वो आर्मी वालों को वो दे रहे थे लाइक दे वर लाइक थ्रोइंग स्टोन एट दैम और उन, उनको बातें भी सुना रहे थे बहुत सारी तो दैट्स अनदर प्रॉब्लम यूर राइट बट वो भी तो सेम ही है ना देर दे आर नॉट लाइक टेकिंग केयर ऑफ देयर प्रोटेक्टर्स देर इंस्टेड दे आर बैशिंग दैम थ्रोइंग स्टोन एट दैम सो हियर लेट मी से समथिंग दैट मे बी आई डोंट फुली बिलीव माई सेल्फ बट आई अंडरस्टैंड ये फौज इतना सख्त मौकफ इसका क्यों है इस पर नौ मई पर अब हम बड़े सीरियस उसमें जा रहे हैं और मैं एक्चुअली इस तरह की डिबेट्स फ्रैंकली अवॉइड कर रहा हूं आजकल बट आई थिंक सिंस इट्स कम अप वी वी शुड यू नो आई टोल्ड यू एट द स्टार्ट दिस नो यू वांट टू अवॉइड सच यार बिकॉज आई थिंक दैट इट्स वेरी इजी टू मिस इंटरप्रेट वट इज बींग सेट टूडे बोथ बिकॉज पीपल आर आउट देर टू डिलिबरेटली ट्विस्ट थिंग्स एंड ऑल्सो बिकॉज पीपल आर वेरी सेंसिटिव राइट नाउ ऑन ऑल साइड्स बट लम ई लम ई एक्सप्लेन समथिंग you don't see this kind of reaction by the military even in balochistan in some ways the, this whole insistence on military courts hmm. uh balochistan is a totally different problem yeah, fata uh, I agree. Uh, former fata is a different problem and i think this habit we have of comparing injustices is also problematic yaar what the baloch have experienced nobody in pakistan has ever experienced yeah. even the bengalis because even the east pakistanis they had the critical mass of population of size they had the 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 they had the ability to actually execute the baloch don't have that they don't have that critical mass as a population 
सो वी हैव रियली फेल द बलोच इन अ वेरी यूनिक वे सो वट जो पैरल है ना पी टी आई और बलोचिस्तान का ये बिल्कुल गलत है आई नो आपने ये नहीं किया लेकिन लोगों के जहन में ये भाम या ये कन्फ्यूजन नहीं होनी चाहिए हमने बलोचिस्तान को बचाना है फौज के बगैर भी नहीं बचा सकते लेकिन इस तरह से फौज के साथ भी नहीं बचा सकते इसके इसका एक्चुअल हल हमें निकालना पड़ेगा जो रेंट सीकिंग हो रही है बलोचिस्तान में जिसमें फौज जो है वो कुछ चीज़ों में यू नो एलिजली इन्वॉल्व है उसको सॉल्व करना होगा जो एक्सटर्नल सपोर्ट है हमारे दुश्मन जो पैसे दे दे के बम फटवाते हैं उसको सॉल्व करना होगा जो हमारी अच्छी चीजें जो फौज ने की है बलोचिस्तान में उसको तस्लीम करना होगा और उनको कहना होगा मोर ऑफ दिस प्लीज और जो सिविलियन रोल है उसमें से फौज को हटाना होगा फौज का काम तालीम नहीं है फौज का काम पानी नहीं है फौज का काम रियल इस्टेट नहीं है स्पेशली बलोचिस्तान में ये तजाद जो है इसको ज्यादा बढ़ाना पड़ेगा वाजे करना पड़ेगा कि फौज का क्या रोल है लॉ इन्फोर्समेंट का क्या रोल है लोकल गवर्नमेंट्स का क्या रोल है और इसके लिए नेशनल लीडरशिप जो है हैज टू बी फोकस्ड ऑन दिस बट नेशनल लीडरशिप इज डिस्ट्रैक्टेड बाय मे नाइन्थ एंड बाय द आई एम एफ सो नेशनल एंड ऑलवेज देर इज ऑलवेज समथिंग एल्स सो दैट इज द अल्टीमेट इनजस्टिस विद द पीपल ऑफ बलोचिस्तान दैट वी कीप पुटिंग इट ऑन टू द साइड क्योंकि छोटा सूबा है उनके वोट इतने नहीं है तो वी कैन कीप इग्नोरिंग इट वेल इट हैज अ कॉस्ट मोस्ट बलोच यंग बलोच पीपल टूडे डोंट कंसिडर दम सेल्स पाकिस्तानी डोंट लाइक द आइडिया ऑफ पाकिस्तान एंड रैदर दैन जस्ट कॉलिंग दम नेम्स the state not musharraf zadi or you or the people watching the state has to decide to embrace those boys and girls and endure the galiyan ye galiyan sune baghair ye process theek nahi hoga aapne gale se lagana hai usko aur jitni galiyan the aapne sunni hai warna ye jo ye jo hai na riyasat ma jaisi ye sirf narebazi hai drama hai ye to fauj ka फौज का मुल्क में ड्रामा नहीं बनना चाहिए गवर्नेंस का ड्रामा नहीं बनना चाहिए बलोच अवाम के एहसास का जज्बात का ड्रामा नहीं बनना चाहिए और इस मुल्क की मुकदर का और इसके वजूद का ड्रामा नहीं बनना चाहिए जिसकी वजह से बार बार सो आई एम कंसिस्टेंटली सेंग देर इज़ नो क्वेश्चन अबाउट द कंट्रीज एग्जिस्टेंस देर इज़ नो क्वेश्चन दैट देर आर अदर्स आउट टू गेट पाकिस्तान दर इज़ नो क्वेश्चन ऑफ पाकिस्तान ओन फेलियर्स एंड यू के नॉट अचीव यूर डेस्टिनी एंड लेस यू एड्रेस ऑल ऑफ दोज थिंग्स नॉट जस्ट वन ऑफ दोज थिंग्स ऑल ऑफ दोज थिंग्स and balochistan i think is the ultimate test case if if you can't fix what we've done wrong in balochistan we can't fix lahore we can't fix gujranwala either we'll think we fixed it because they're close by they're accessible but really i think balochistan is the test case of pakistan hmm acha balochistan ke sath kp theek hai aur rise of ptm aur ptm se abhi unhone jo mohsin dawar hain wo separate ho gaye hain to लेकिन और भी ऐसी वॉइस एंड ऑल्सो द राइज ऑफ टेररिज्म ओवर देयर और ये स्लोगन आना के के ये जो सारी टेररिज्म की वो है उसके दहशत गर्दी है उसके पीछे वर्दी है सो हाउ डू यू सी दैट और आ, ये भी एक नरेटिव है या एक कॉमन बात की जाती है कि पाकिस्तान थिंक्स अफगानिस्तान एज अ एज अ प्रोविंस yeah i i think uh i don't think any serious person in the pakistan elite has thought of afghanistan as a province uh, they can't afford to partly because the problem starts with afghanistan's elites not accepting pakistan not the other way around it is the afghans that think pakistan is a province पहले तो ये कि हिस्टोरिकली जरा एक्यूरेट होना चाहिए ना कि इनऑर्गेनिक प्रोजेक्ट जो है वो पाकिस्तान है अफगानिस्तान ही अफगानिस्तान कहता है मैं तो हजारों साल से गया हूं और, और इतना गलत भी नहीं कहता ऑल दो द आइडिया ऑफ अफगानिस्तान इट सेल्फ इज ऑल्सो क्वेश्चनेबल कि वो कितना लेकिन वो डिबेट ये सारी डिबेट्स उन लोगों के लिए हैं जो चाहते हैं मसलों को बरकरार रखना मैं चाहता हूँ मसलों को हल करना अफगानिस्तान एक आज़ाद जबरदस्त मुल्क है अफगान पहचान जबरदस्त चीज है अगर कुछ पाकिस्तानी अपने आप को अफगान समझते हैं बिस्मिल्ला यार अगर कुछ पाकिस्तानी अपने आप को अमेरिकन समझते हैं जो समझते हैं सौ बिस्मिल्ला कुछ पाकिस्तानी अपने आप को जर्मन समझते हैं बिस्मिल्ला सो अगर अफगान समझते हैं सबसे ज्यादा सेंस तो अफगान समझने की बनती है एक जबान है एक कबीले हैं इन मैनी केसेस एक बॉर्डर है एक आबो हवा है एक लिव्ड एक्सपीरियंस है चालीस साल से उधर जंग हो रही है केपी में भी जंग हो रही है नॉर्थ बलोचिस्तान में भी जंग हो रही है कोयटा तक जंग है कोयटा क्या कराची के अंदर जंग है 
है ना चालीस साल से तो उससे ज्यादा अपने आप को समझना जो है वो क्या हो सकता है आप अमेरिका नहीं है और वो मैक्सिको नहीं है आप उस तरह से उनके बॉर्डर को ट्रीट नहीं कर सकते जिस तरह ट्रंप जो है वो मेक्सिको बॉर्डर को ट्रीट करना चाहते हैं और आपके वजूद का मकसद एज अ सेफ एवन है तो अफगान रेफ्यूजी अफगान रेफ्यूजी अफगान रेफ्यूजी क्या है उसका हक है यहां होना पाकिस्तान के वजूद का मकसद ही ये था कि अफगान इधर आ सके और सिर्फ अफगान नहीं जिसने यहां पर आना है यहां बचने के लिए उसने यहां पर आना है ये थोड़ी हो सकता है कि मैं एज अ महाजर मेरे अबाव अजदाद यूपी से यहां आए एक फैमिली जहाज में आई दूसरे जो है वो ट्रेन से आए कई साल बाद और पीछे दरवाजा जब देखा बॉर्डर पे तो दरवाजा देख के कह यार ये जल्दी से बंद कर दो और ना आ जाए इससे ज्यादा बेहुदा चीज हो सकती है दिस इज अ कंट्री मेड फॉर महाजर्स एंड नॉट महाजर्स फ्रॉम यूपी नॉट जस्ट महाजर्स फ्रॉम अमृतसर एंड फ्रॉम जलंधर महाजर्स फ्रॉम कंदहार फ्रॉम मजार शरीफ फ्रॉम फर्दर फील्ड वेर एवर दे कम फ्रॉम मतलब देखो देर आर टू पॉइंट वन मिलियन टू पॉइंट थ्री मिलियन वन पॉइंट फोर एंड पॉइंट नाइन टू पॉइंट थ्री मिलियन अफगान इन पाकिस्तान रजिस्टर्ड नाइन हंड्रेड थाउजेंड आर समथिंग कॉल्ड द अफगान सिटीजनशिप कार्ड ए सी सी इशूड बाई नादरा एंड वन पॉइंट फोर मिलियन आर दे हैव वट आर यू एन एच सी आर अप्रूवड रेफ्यूजी कार्ड सो टू स्पीक Also issued by Nadra. ठीक है, ठीक है. ठीक. Two point. कितने हो गए? Two point four million? नहीं, sorry. Two point three million. One point four plus point nine. तो ये जो official number है, इसमें से आपको यकीन आएगा कि तकरीबन पिछत्तर फीसद पाकिस्तान में पैदा हुए थे. Yeah. पिछत्तर फीसद. So two point थ्री मिलियन का पचहत्तर फीसेंड थर्ड जनरेशन एग्जैक्टली मैनी ऑफ दम थर्ड जनरेशन हाउ आर दे नॉट ऑलरेडी पाकिस्तानी एंड इन वट वे आर दे नॉट पाकिस्तानी दे ऑल स्पीक उर्दू इफ दैट्स द टेस्ट दे मे नॉट लाइक स्पीकिंग उर्दू बट दे ऑल स्पीक उर्दू दे हैव टू राइट दे अंडरस्टैंड मैनी ऑफ दम स्पीक पंजाबी दो लिव इन इस्लामा वो पटवारी और पंजाबी भी बोल लेते और समझते हैं Uh, they have businesses here they have homes here they contribute to the economy here they buy and they sell uh matlab they are as pakistani as i am and as you are so i think we need to really step back and rethink ki ye jo issue hai afghanistan ke sath is rooted in what it's rooted in pakistan reacting to afghan insecurity ओके लेट मी पुट इट दिस वे नहीं मेरा ए, ए, एक एक मिनट मेरा ये है कि उनको हु पुट पुट देम इन दिस सिचुएशन लाइक द द द वॉर्स दैट वर वेज लाइक वी हैव बीन प्रॉक्सी टू दोज वॉर होल्ड ऑन हुज फॉल्ट वाज 1971 प्राइमरीली आवर फॉल्ट पाकिस्तान्स फॉल्ट हुज फॉल्ट इज द करंट पाकिस्तानी पॉली क्राइसिस आवर फॉल्ट हुज फॉल्ट इज अफगानिस्तान बीइंग इन कॉन्फ्लिक्ट फॉर 40 इयर्स दिस इज आवर प्रॉब्लम टू आई थिंक That, so ye yeah, you cannot have your cake and eat it too afghanistan's problems primarily are afghanistan's fault just like pakistan's problems are pakistan's faults so let's not ru uh, apna ussr ne afghanistan pe hamla kiya hmm zia saab ne matlab arrange kiya tha isi mein matlab apara mein baith ke plans bane the ki rus kaise hamla karega यूएसएसआर कैसे हमला करे वो तो हो गया लेकिन कर रहे हो यार एक सेकंड एक सेकंड अमेरिका में 9/11 हुआ नाइन इलेवन के बाद उन्होंने यहां हमला किया पाकिस्तान ने कहा था उनको कि आके हमला करे नहीं उससे जो पहले अफगान वॉर थी जो यूएसएसआर ने अटैक किया था तो हमें क्या जाने की जरूरत थी कि हमारे वो हमारे हम गए थे ये जो हम मसला ये इन दिस फाइटर तैयार किए एक सेकेंड कब किए जस्ट गेट दस्ट यू हैव टू गेट दर्डर ऑफ थिंग राइट ना हाउ डिड पाकिस्तान गेट इन्वॉल्व वट हैपन आफ्टर द रशन इन वेडेड अफगानिस्तान द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट हैपन यू जस्ट गेट टू गेट द टाइमिंग राइट ना क्रोनोलॉजी ठीक कर ठीक है अब एक तो ये कि पाकिस्तान का हमेशा अफगानिस्तान में और अफगानिस्तान का पाकिस्तान में इन्वॉल्वमेंट रहा है जिस तरह ईरान का पाकिस्तान में रहा है और पाकिस्तान का ईरान में रहा है हमेशा जो नेबर्स होते हैं वो एक दूसरे के मामला में दखलबाजी करते सो ये कहना कि पाकिस्तान ने कभी वो नहीं किया एंगेज नहीं किया ये गलत होगा लेकिन जो ड्राइवर था 
in the late 70s and early 80s for a renewed and robust Pakistani intervention jo hui hai hmm. Afghanistan mein. it was a product of the USSR invading Afghanistan and generating millions of refugees ye jo refugee wali kahani hai the, the, the open borders at that time is the only country in the world jahan pe the refugees came there was Jalozai camp there was a few camps but within months of the refugee crisis Afghans were free to be anywhere in Pakistan that they wanted to be ye baki mamalik mein nahi hota so we have to understand how the world works before we declare ke hamare sare masle bhi hamari fault hai aur baki sab ke masle bhi hamare india mein terrorism bhi pakistan ki fault hai uh, iran ki insecurities bhi pakistan ki fault hai kashmir mein to aapne kiya na kashmir kya kiya hai ek second kashmir in, again in, perfect example kashmir mein pakistan ne kya kiya wrong pakistan pehla sawal ye nahi hoga ke kashmir mein india ne ja ke qabza kiya ha theek hai उसके बाद जो किया पाकिस्तान ने गलत या सही लेकिन उसके रिएक्शन में किया है अफगानिस्तान में पाकिस्तान ने बहुत गलत किया अच्छा मुजाहिदीन को जो मुंबई अटैक्स हुए तो वो क्या मुंबई अटैक्स में पाकिस्तान इन्वॉल्व नहीं था मुंबई अटैक्स की जो जिम्मेदार तंजीम है उसका नाम क्या है लश्कर तैयबा एल जी एल किस किस लिए बनी थी लश्कर तैयबा किस लिए बनी थी लश्कर तैयबा और कश्मीर ये... कश्मीर में लड़ने के लिए अच्छा बनाई गई थी ठीक है कश्मीर में लड़ाई की जरूरत क्यों पेश आई ठीक है इंडिया की इंडियन ऑक्यूपेशन में था नाउ दैट डजंट जस्टिफाई मुंबई द मुंबई टेरर अटैक्स वर अमंग द सिंगल वर्स्ट थिंग दैट इज एवर हैपेंड टू पाकिस्तान इट हैपेंड टू इंडिया बट उसके नतीजे में जो पाकिस्तान के साथ हुआ है वो एक تسلسل से मैं आपको गिना सकता हूं कि कितना डैमेज उसने किया है पाकिस्तान strategically between kargil and mumbai pakistan went from being a strategically strong country to being a strategically weak country because of these two incidents one was formal originally informal but later formal mm-hmm. and the other one was non state actor both were uh, related to india and both were anchored in the illegal occupation of kashmir now am i saying ki india ki fault thi a 100% india state has decided to call kashmiris indian and to call kashmiri land indian land and the kashmiris have not accepted that and like other countries have taken advantage of these weaknesses in pakistan pakistan sought to support the kashmiris in their struggle against india now there was uh, ways that are defensible and good and there was ways that are indefensible and bad and groups like lashkar e taiba and jaish e mohammed are inexcusable ways of supporting a legitimate struggle inexcusable so mumbai is a product of that but yaar life is complex you can't hey, just let, let's get get back to afghanistan we Chalo. can but but not with the starting point ki puri duniya ke masail jo hai wo pakistan ki fault hai nahi pakistan ke to nahi hai lekin pakistan ke masle pakistan ki fault hai aur afghanistan ka hamara jo attitude hai wo hamari fault hai lekin afghanistan ke jo andruni masail hain wo afghan afshrafia ko own karne hain wo unke apne kuch faisle hain aur ye aap kisi bhi maqul afghan se baat karenge wo kahenge tumhari dakhal andazi jo hai wo galat hai lekin hamare yahan apne bade weaknesses hain Afghans are much more clear about this, about owning their problems themselves than we are. They're proud people. The problem is that you have interfered in the problem. I agree with you on this, that it's their problem. But you are saying that the neighbors are always interfering in this kind of way. Okay, the neighbors are always interfering in the internal affairs. And here they do more. Here they do more. This is extraordinary. I was just trying to say that this is the same thing. We accept that we have done more interfering here. No, no. I'm saying that in Pakistan, our neighbors do more interfering. And we are also doing it. We have also done it. No. This is a problem that I have. Um, I don't accept that. 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 there is any kind of moral equivalence between india's occupation of kashmir and the mistakes pakistan has made in responding to that i don't accept that the refusal of the afghan elite to accept pakistan is in any way equivalent to what pakistan has done in return every almost everything pakistan does in But every instance in is defensive and in reaction is it good no it's terrible it was terrible policy to back the taliban in the early 90s बहुत बुरा किया इट वॉज हॉरेबल के हमने एल जैसी चीजें जो है वो उनको सपोर्ट किया बहुत गलत था 
لیکن بنیاد ان مسائل کی جو ہے وہ پاکستان کی انہیرنٹ انسیکیورٹی ہے جو ذمہ داری ہے ان کی جو اس انسیکیورٹی کو کریٹ اور فیڈ کرتے ہیں دیٹ از نیو ڈیلی اینڈ دیٹ از کابل دے ہیو ٹو میک ڈفرینٹ چوائسز بٹ آئی ڈونٹ ایکسپیکٹ دم ٹو اینڈ آئی ایم ناٹ لوکنگ فار اینی فیورز فرام اینی کنٹری اور فرام اینی انٹرنیشنل آرگنائزیشن اینڈ آئی ایم ڈیمانڈنگ دیٹ پاکستانیز ڈو بیٹر And it's not young 23-year-old Pakistanis that need to do better. So if they stand on the street corner to answer your question, and they are PTM or they give the people of the Fauj and they give the Nawaz Sharif or they give the Imran Khan, they are completely fine. Because this is the responsibility of a 23-year-old child or a child that they are fine and they own them. That responsibility, I mean, I am now at that age group, although I have no formal power, but of course I have a voice, Alhamdulillah. Uh, it is my generation's responsibility and it's the elite of this country that have a profound responsibility to own this project, to live a life of dignity, to have some goddamn pride mm. and to refuse to blame others. So, I'm explaining why mm. Pakistan is why it's the problem of Pakistan. And I want to share clarity with you, which is my view. But it's not the responsibility of the Afghans of the Afghans, of the India. I expect fully that India will not change its tune in Kashmir. So we have to do something different. I fully expect that the poor Afghans are not about to concede uh, mm. the Durand line, so to speak. Uh, as, a, as a talking point. I don't even want to negotiate that. But I do know that we have to say that 2-1 million Afghans are called Afghan, although they are Pakistani. They should get dual citizenship. If they should get Canadians and Pakistanis, they should get their Canadians and Americans and British. So why can't they get Afghans? The biggest case with Afghans is the most robust case with Afghans. You will get the answer from the Pakistani bureaucrats. یا پاکستانی فوجی سے کہ یہ ساری چیزیں ہمیشہ ریسپروسٹی بیسڈ ہوتی ہیں بالکل ہوتی ہیں جب دو ممالک ایک دوسرے کو ایکول سمجھیں سو کینیڈا پاکستان ایک دوسرے کے ساتھ ایز ٹو ایکول کنٹریز جو ہے ڈیل کرتے ہیں کیا افغانستان پاکستان کا ایکول ہے نہیں ہے اٹس ڈرامیٹکلی دا پاور ڈفرینشیل از ڈرامیٹکلی ڈفرینٹ سو وی شوڈ ناٹ بی بیسنگ آور ڈپلومیسی ود افغانستان آن ریسپروسٹی We should violate that. We have violated everything in every book, including our constitution. We had an election in the 90th day, we didn't do it. So, when we have a benefit, we don't buy the book, we put the book in the fire, we put it in the fire. But when we have a Afghanistan strategic, this will be a strategic decision that will fundamentally alter your dynamics. Afghans need to be stakeholders in this project. Right now, they're not stakeholders. Right now, you make them feel like they are beneficiaries, that they're outsiders, that they don't belong, and that they are there to be manipulated. They do feel that they've been interfered with. And they're right to feel that. Yeah. How do you change this? You change it by investing in a long-term view of what your purpose as a country is. Hmm. Your purpose is the elevation of the Afghan. Yeah. If you have, if you feel that you are, you have this this grand purpose and this grand design, then you will look at other countries, especially those weaker than you, as people that are going to stand on your shoulders, man. The Afghans should feel a sense of pride to stand on the shoulder of the Pakistani and and then stand there and he can talk down to the Pakistani, no problem, because the Pakistani doesn't matter, because that's that's just how that's just how good the Pakistani's game is. That's how much self-confidence the Pakistani has. That's Muhammad Ali Jinnah. He didn't ask the British for anything. He didn't ask Gandhi or Nehru for anything. Beyond a certain point, although he was an ambassador of Hindu-Muslim unity and a, and a co-leader, both of the Congress and the Muslim League, you know this, no? But then he made this. So, kuch to unhone socha hoga. Lekin is pure vakt unhone apne opponent ko gali nahi di. اپنے آپ کو کم تر نہیں سمجھا اور اوروں سے کچھ نہیں مانگا اس نے لیا جو اس کا حق تھا لیکن زبردستی نہیں احسن اور افضل طریقے سے جس طرح میں آپ کو کنونس کرنے کی کوشش کر رہا ہوں آلو ناٹ ایٹ دیٹ لیول بٹ آئی ایم ٹرائنگ ٹو کنونس یو دیٹ ناٹ ایوری تھنگ از آر فالٹ بٹ بٹ فکسنگ ایوری تھنگ از آور ریسپانسبلٹی سو ہیو دی انالس کلیئر کہ ساری چیزیں ہماری غلطی نہیں ہیں لیکن پھر ان کا حل جو ہے وہ کیونکہ ہم اپنے آپ کو ہم میں اتنا سیلف کانفیڈنس ہے ہماری جو بنیاد ہے وہ اتنی پائیدار ہے 
हमारे पास इंडस रिवर है हमारे पास हिमालयन माउंटेन्स है हमारे पास चीन और अमेरिका दोनों के साथ स्ट्रेटेजिक रिलेशन है दोनों कहीं नहीं जाएंगे हम बड़े यूनिक पोजिशन में हैं हमें आशस नहीं करनी चाहिए इंडोनेशिया और तुर्की को देख के उनको हमें देख के जो है जेलस होना चाहिए दैट्स वे वी शुड हैव बिन एज अ कंट्री और उसके लिए फौज को सिर्फ फौज का काम करना पड़ेगा फौज मुल्क नहीं चला सकती और उसके बाद हम फिर सियासतदानों की गिरबान सबके पकड़ेंगे बट नॉट लाइक दिस मैन नॉट के एवरी फ्यू ईयर्स द जुडिशियरी इज यूज एज अ वेपन द मीडिया इज यूज एज अ वेपन एंड वी डिस्ट्रॉय द क्रेडिबिलिटी एंड द स्टैंडिंग ऑफ आर पॉलिटिशंस इन मेनी केसेस दोज वेरी पॉलिटिशंस जिन्होंने जिन जिनको हमने खुद जो है वो इन्वेंट और और एलिवेट किया तो मुल्क इस तरह जो मैं आपको आइडियल दे रहा हूँ सीनैरियो पाकिस्तान को किस तरह अपने बारे में सोचना चाहिए उसके जो दैट्स द प्रोजेक्ट ऑब्जेक्टिव बट देन द प्रोजेक्ट मैनुअल द प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट शीट द गैंट चार्ट उसमें नंबर वन हैज टू बी फौज हैज टू डू फौज थिंग्स नॉट 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 दिस नॉट दिस एवरी थिंग मोड अच्छा मेरा उस आपके जो आपने प्रीवियस बात की कि अफगान को हमने हमें वेलकम करना चाहिए यहाँ पे पाकिस्तान में मेरा ये क्वेश्चन है इफ लेट्स लेट्स मेक अ सपोजिशन लाइक इफ वॉर हैपन्स इन लाइक आर बॉर्डर विद चाइना ठीक है चाइना में होती है कोई एक कंट्री है कोई भी अमेरिका लेट्स से के अटैक करता है उनके उस प्रोविंस में जो हमारे साथ बॉर्डर में तो हमें आप समझते कि हम वैसे ही उनको वेलकम करेंगे इन द स्टेट ऑफ पाकिस्तान जैसा कि हम अफगान अफगान को कर रहे हैं या हम उनको डिफरेंटली ट्रीट करेंगे डिफरेंटली क्यों क्योंकि अफगान ऑन दैट साइड ऑफ द बॉर्डर आर फ्रॉम अफगानिस्तान एंड इसेंशली द सेम पीपल ऑन दिस साइड ऑफ द बॉर्डर आर फ्रॉम पाकिस्तान सो द फेमिलियरिटी बिटवीन आवर पीपल्स इज अ बिग फैक्टर इन वाई वीव बिन वेलकमिंग which is why i always say and this is a private issue but but i think merits discussion here ke jo sindhi ne is mulk ke liye kiya aur khaas taur pe jo jo uh, india se jo log aaye the hmm. hyderabad aur karachi mein aur meri family uh, jo hai wo dono shehron mein settle hui jo sindhi ne eh, apna jo ghar khola aur apna dastakhan khola tha na uski misal aapko honestly ja ke sirf madine mein milti hai because because in the case of the afghan it's great it's it's amazing what what pakistanis did for afghans but it was it was family it was the it was the same tribe it was you know it was the afghans are not different people but you know a bunch of urdu speaking up walas or biharis coming to karachi coming to hyderabad was was foreigners and okay. and they open so i think ke main is pe main bahut jazbati bhi ho jata hu kyunki mujhe lagta hai ki jo ek bahut bada failure tha उर्दू स्पीकिंग कम्युनिटीज का हमारा सिंधी ना सीखना था जस्ट स्पीकिंग द लैंग्वेज अलोन वुड हैव रिजॉल्व एवरी गवर्नेंस इशू इन सिंध ये जो सिंध हुकूमत जो इंतकाम ले रही है कराची से और ले रही है इसमें कोई डाउट नहीं है दैट देर इज एन एथनिक एलिमेंट दे डोंट वॉन्ट टू हर्ट कराची बट दे डू वॉन्ट टू कंट्रोल कराची एंड दे डोंट हैव द वोट्स to win hmm. karachi hmm. so there's all kinds of harkatein jo ppp indulge karti hai uh, as the dominant representative of people that speaks in but the demographics have actually changed on ground yes but yeah. what i'm trying to say is a lot of these dynamics these ethnic dynamics would not have existed if i spoke sindhi in my home because i would have so? been considered mahajan you think that the the like if if they change the language like the curriculum's language to sindhi then the nee, nee, problem of yaar ab to dekho na you can't you can't reverse history somebody says vote of no confidence nahi hona chahiye tha ho gaya hmm. the world is now in 2023 we're having this conversation in june 23 hmm. we should understand what happened but we can't reverse it yeah yeah now i mean now mahajir identity hmm. and its linkage with urdu and the tang pajama is absolutely established and it's established as a reaction to a certain kind of treatment and that treatment was a reaction to a different kind of treatment the elite babus moved here hmm. they treated the country in a certain way as a reaction other nations in pakistan sub nations thought of them in a certain way as a reaction the mqm was created as a reaction you know so there's like seven or eight now reactions and counter reactions aur hum ab yahan khade hain main aapko keh raha hu ki jo original sin thi is mamle mein वो हमारा सिंधी ना बोलना आई एम महाजर मेरा 
not being a native Sindhi speaker, mm. uh, at least a th third generation, if not sec if not second, then it, if not second, then at least third generation speaker of Sindhi. That fact not being the case is the root of many problems in the province of Sindh. And a lot of the coherence that's missing in that province and in the city of Karachi is rooted in that. I'm just lamenting ki aisa tha. Aap keh rahe hain ki ab ab kar do, ab karoge to ab to gun machega na. Kyunki ab log react karein ki yaar hi to mari zubaan nahi hai. Main keh raha hoon ki ye hamari zubaan kyu nahi hai. To pehle bhi to yehi reaction hoga. Because pehle aap yaar idhar aaye the inke ghar. With what entitlement did the UP Mahajir come here and not learn the language of the place they were moving to? This is the question that I'm asking. Iska jawab aap, are you are you Urdu speaking? No, I'm not. Okay, Urdu. so you, you you possibly can't give me an answer to that, na? But and and neither can my cousins um, back in Hyderabad and, and Karachi. So this is a like I said, this is a personal view. It's an unpopular view. So I'm very proud of Mahajir identity, and I. You know, and I think that there's a lot about the MQM experience that's have very important. Have you been part of MQM or not? No, I've not been part of any political party, uh, but I'm a keen observer, and I'm able to appreciate. Just that I MQM ko appreciate karta hu, not Altaf Hussain and his speeches, but the reason why it came about. Usi tarah main PTM ko karta hu, usi tarah main aur jamaaton ko karta hu, because if you don't own your own sub identity, you can't appreciate others. So if I appreciate PTM, why is he doing what he is doing? He should do it. But I can't become a part of PTM. So that's it. That was on a lighter note, by the way. Like, have you been part of MQM? No, no, but it's, I'm, I'm happy to explain why somebody... Because I know that there will be people who will see it and say, Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this MQM? Why are you doing this MQM? Why are you doing this PTM? Why are you doing this against the country? ये क्यों जो है फौज को की हमायत कर रहा है जो इतनी जाती करती है ये क्यों जो है नवाज शरीफ की तारीफ करता है कि उसने ये बनाया वो बनाया जब नवाज शरीफ जो भी है इसलिए क्योंकि सारी चीजों में एक जो है एलिमेंट हकीकत का जरूर होगा लेकिन चीजें आइसोलेशन में देखने से आप एलिनेट कर लेते हो अपने आप को मैं अपने आप को अपने सिंधी भाई से पख्तून भाई से फौजी जवान से پیٹی آئے کے ورکر سے بلوچ سے سرائیکی سے شینہ بولنے والے سے you know ان لوگوں سے I don't want to be distant from them I as a privileged اسلام آبادی who is of اردو سپیکنگ بیک راؤن I have a very very unique and privileged experience right so it's easy for me to be appreciative of all these things so my role in society is not to pick a side ہم to go with MQM or to go with PTM or to go with PMLN or to go with PPP or to go with PTI or to go all in with the fault. My role is to try and help bring this together. This goes back to the question of who I am. I really see myself as that. In a, in a different uh, light, because I was born abroad and I maintain a very robust you have different sense of identity yeah. with, with the West and particularly with Canada, I also see myself as somebody who's supposed to bring Pakistan closer to those countries, uh, particularly Canada, but the US and, and the UK, English, that, the English speaking world. That's why you come back to Pakistan. Is that one of the reasons? I, I mean, I came back when I was 15, 16. Oh, okay. uh, the reasons were different then. Uh, the reasons keep evolving. But ultimately, I believe in this project. I believe in the ambition and the dignity of the project. So I want to be here because I think it's still possible. Is it the hardest that it's ever been to believe today in June 2023? Yes, it's gotten very, very hard. But have I thrown in the towel? Inshallah, never. Zaydis don't do that. So, uh, you know, I, I think Allah khair karega, somehow we're going to get out of this. But it's going to be a rough 2023 and maybe perpetually so. لیکن اگلے چھے سات مہینے میں تو ہمیں ریکاوری جو ہے وہ نہیں ملنے والی اچھا کرنٹ پولیٹیکل جو سیٹ اپ ہے جو جس طرح سے پی ڈی ایم کی گورنمنٹ ہے پاکستان کو رن کر رہی ہے ٹھیک ہے تو ان کی اور ان کی گورننس کو آپ کیسے دیکھ رہے ہیں بے شک وہ ٹرانزیشنری ایک پیریڈ ہے ان کا اور لیکن جو جس طریقے سے لائے گئے اور جو ابھی جو کچھ ہو رہا ہے 
तो वुड यू ब्लेम देम आर देयर सपोर्टर्स यू मीन फौज ऑब्वियसली हाँ देखें आ, मैंने ओवर आर्चिंगली तो कहा है कि जितनी भी मैक्रो चीजें जब एक इंस्टीट्यूशन अपने आप को इतना ज्यादा हर चीज में डाल लेगा तो हर चीज का ब्लेम उस पर आसानी से आएगा और बनता भी है लेकिन मैंने तो आई डोंट थिंक फौज ने कनपट्टी पे बंदूक रख के कहा कि अब्दुल कादर पटेल साहब को आ, मजबूर करो कि वो हेल्थ मिनिस्ट्री देखें <laughs> ये तो मेरा ख्याल है किसी कोर कमांडर या कर्नल साहब ने नहीं जो है बंदूक रख के जुदाई साहब को ये तो उनका अपना फैसला था आ, I mean, I pick on him just because I was very, frankly, very openly. I I thought that having somebody like Faisal Sultan in that role was really, I think, revolutionary, especially combined with the Tasalsul ke saath jo healthcare sector mein jo reforms hui hain, KP mein 2013-14 onwards. In the previous period. Previous period and and continue well, really escalated in hmm. the in the COVID era. Um, again, I have a bias there uh, because I. really admire and uh, i'm very fond of tamur jhagra and and the work that he did there but i think he did that work because khan had given him that that leeway so i think usme bhi i think on healthcare we have to credit khan saab so so that's why i pick on abdul qadir patel i mean he's a perfectly fine politician bade dhuwadar speeches dete hain i think ye inke sath thodi zyadati thi unko ye wala uh, portfolio portfolio dena lekin ye fauj ke sath zyadati hogi ke is portfolio assignment ka blame bhi जी एच क्यू पे या फौज पे डालना सो आई थिंक वी हैव टू बी फेयर बट इन दैट फेयरनेस वी ऑल्सो हैव टू सी आई मीन यू नो फॉर मी आई वॉज एक्सपेक्टिंग आई रियली वॉज एक्सपेक्टिंग दैट द प्राइम मिनिस्टर वुड बी वुड बी एबल टू हैव मोर इम्पैक्ट दैन ही हैज हैड एंड आई थिंक दैट ना लुकिंग बैक आई हैड काइंड ऑफ प्रोडिक्टेड सम ऑफ दिस द डे ही टू कोथ मैंने यू नो आई रोड हिज फाइव बिगेस्ट चैलेंजेस वट आई वॉज इन एक्सपेक्टिंग इज एट ऑल फाइव ऑफ दैम वुड बी एज हावी on him as they are mm-hmm. running a coalition is not easy uh, being the younger brother of nawaz sharif and the uncle of maryam uh, not easy uh, having uh, zardari as a coalition team member not easy having imran khan as a In leader that, that finds his second and third wind not easy having a fauj that's really really uh, very angry about may 9th not easy um Russia and Ukraine uh, war nobody's fault in Pakistan uh, right although i think aapki questioning ke usme bhi hum pakistan ko blame kahin na kahin se kar sakte hain nahi main nahi kar raha uh, <laughs> to to wo bhi aasan nahi hai uh, aur saudi arab mein ek nayi generation aayi hai leadership ki uh, uae mein nayi generation aayi hai jo us tarah se ab check sign kabhi nahi karenge aur wo isliye nahi ki wo pakistaniyon se mohabbat nahi karte wo isliye ki वहां पे जो चीज पाकिस्तान में हो जानी चाहिए थी आज से पंद्रह साल पहले वो वहां पे हो चुकी है और वो है लीडरशिप ट्रांजिशन सऊदी अरेबिया इज अ कंट्री बाय मिलेनियल्स फॉर मिलेनियल्स पाकिस्तान इज अ कंट्री ऑफ मिलेनियल्स एंड जेनजी बाय एंड फॉर बूमर्स इफ यू वॉन्ट अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन अ कंट्री दट्स डूइंग वेल एंड अ कंट्री दट्स फेलिंग दैट माइट बी वन ईजी प्लेस टू लुक people who have 5 years to live running a country where people have 50 years to live they're going to run it to the ground man unke wo stakes hi nahi hai jo ek 30 saal ke bacche ya bachi ke we need much younger leadership and i don't ye bada aasan hai isko this doesn't mean that it has to be hereditary leadership i'm saying ke leadership writ large What I'm saying is that BPS 22 may come for you. You shouldn't have to be 55 years old. We need a, a new system where younger people are able to shoot to the top of organizations much more quickly. Puri dunya mein the opportunity available hoti hai. Pakistan mein kisi idare mein young people are not uh, encouraged unless they enjoy hereditary power, which is not ideal. Hmm. so my question would be ke pakistan mein jo ye sab change hone would it need a revolution ya yeah, evolution i'm unfortunately too old and too fat uh and and i've seen too much uh to believe that any kind of sudden disruption 
can ever be helpful. Uh, one of the most damaging things that's happened in this region is, is the uh, Iran revolution. It has been, uh, it has fueled disruption, violence and war for 40 years in the entire region, including in Pakistan. Uh, and that's a successful revolution. It's destroyed the Iranian economy and it's destroyed that country's relationship with the rest of the world. As a civilization, the Persians have so much to offer and so much of it has been buried under the weight of that revolution. Um, and then you have unsuccessful revolutions like the Tahrir Square revolution in Egypt. And we've seen what the result is. A dictatorship much more powerful than the one that the revolution replaced. Just to give you jog your memory, the revolution came to get rid of Hosni Mubarak who was in charge for 27 years. The revolution delivered one year of uh, Islamic Brotherhood, Muslim Brotherhood, followed by now, how many years has it been? It's over 10 years of CC. Yeah. Is CC going anywhere? He isn't going anywhere. Were the objectives of the revolution achieved? No. Absolutely not. Yeah. In fact, the thing that the revolution rose up to get rid of, the revolution has made more strong. And we are literally seeing uh, you know, a much cheaper and plastic version of something similar going down in our country. You will not be able to contain the military in military affairs and establish civilian supremacy through revolution or through fighting the military. There's a way to do this. It's been done in other countries. I've written about it extensively. I've spoken about it. But we're not interested, as, a, as an elite, we're not interested in learning lessons from Indonesia or learning lessons from Turkey. We want everything and we want it now and we want it for now. And again, it's because the elite is run by 70-year-olds. So no, the answer is not revolution. The answer is change. Uh, you ask me how that evolution. change is going to come about through evolution. Maybe it'll be slower and it'll be imperfect. And we'll all keep complaining and fighting with each other. But at a minimum, that evolution should not be disrupted the way it was in 2018 and the way it has been in the last year. All right. Sir, how did you come up with the idea of the Bad Lab? I always thought that uh, it's important for non-Western audiences and non-Western sources to have a platform uh, that has the same uh, commitment to excellence, the same robustness, the same ability to generate useful insights as, as the great think tanks and the great consulting firms of the world do. So uh, that, that really was the mission. So you, all the finances come, come from, uh, f uh, the funding and the finances come from consulting? No, there's no, there's no funding or finances. Yeah, there's, it's a private limited company. All right. So it's a consulting firm. It's a consulting yeah. firm. So, so we don't get funding per se. We, we offer services. <laughs> Sorry, I might have it. used a wrong word. No, no, it's that. because I think people have this uh, impression that it's a non-profit. It's not a non-profit. It's, it's a for-profit. So. All right. So my question is, uh, what is that book that you have read or reading recently? That's a great question because I just asked a group of interns uh, and I went one by one to see uh, what they've been reading. Um, I just picked up uh, a John Le Carre novel for the first time ever. Um, the title is Spies Something, which I haven't started. Uh, the book that uh, I found really fascinating is uh, Javier Blas's book on uh, traders commodities traders and how commodity trading has shaped the world. I can't remember the title, but that's the book that that's, I'm... That's your favorite book? No, that's the one that I'm reading, reading. right now. What's your favorite book? Ooh, uh, that's an... I mean, that's an easy one, but it's also like a set piece uh, uh, that's too easy. Martin Lings' uh, biography of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, I read it when I was really young. I've read it repeatedly since then. Uh, so it's very personal to me and, and very important. And I think... He delivers the, the story of the Prophet's life in a way that I think was very accessible to me in terms of where I was coming from. So I found that to be profound. Uh, Vaclav Havel wrote, uh, there was a collection of essays that he wrote. Um, and I was probably 16 when I picked that up. He was one of the founders of the new uh, 
Czechoslovakia, the Czech Republic. He used to be a playwright, and then later on he became the president of his country. Uh, so I thought that the way that he wrote was was really uh, powerful. Um, more recently, uh, I find uh, Teju Cole to be uh, really exciting as a, as a writer. Um, and I guess uh, Michael Lewis, you can't go wrong with. So every book that Michael has written, I, I own. And I think the most important one of his books that I've read is his story of the the life of Daniel Kahneman and Amos Tversky and their partnership in how they almost invented behavioral economics or understood behavioral science in a way that the world hadn't understood before their work. Uh, I think it's called The Undoing Project by Michael um, Lewis. So I highly recommend uh, that book. And your favorite movie? Sadly, I think it's Goodfellas. Sadly, because I think it sets a bad example, but uh, I probably started smoking because because of that because of that movie, and um, I was way too impressed with with those bad boys. Your favorite writer? I think it's got to be nonfiction. It's got to be Michael Lewis. I think he's the most accessible and uh, skilled storyteller uh, ever. Um, amongst Pakistani writers uh, and reporters. Uh, Omar Varaj doesn't, uh, doesn't report anymore, but uh, maybe the most profound piece of writing was his obituary of Salman Tasir. I thought that was a very moving piece. I think Moiz Jafri, uh, amongst op-ed writers, is really powerful. Asad Rahim Khan uh, is very powerful. Uh, I used to be a huge fan. I still am of Huma Yusuf. She doesn't write as frequently as she used to. I thought she was a really important writer in this country. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, I have a long list of people who's reading, uh, whose writing I, I like to read. But those would be the ones that are top of mind for me right now. Just a one-liner. Like, what would you like to uh, say to the young generation of Pakistan? Don't listen to old people. Don't listen to me. Find your own path. Uh, you have the greatest set of resources ever available to anyone in humankind. And especially if you're Pakistani, uh, you already are more capable than any generation before you. Uh, do the thing that, that you want to do. Uh, and yeah, I, I don't think that my generation has earned the right to tell young people what to do. Hmm. The best we can do is try to set a decent example and try to articulate what our aspirations are for them by acting, not by talking. So I would say, I mean, listen to what I've tried to frame as what's important to me. And obviously, if it's important to me, I want other people to also be invested, for example, in Pakistan, the way that I am. I would want non-Pakistanis to understand you know, the purpose of Pakistan as well. It's not just Pakistanis. Frankly, I would love for Indians to really understand uh, that this is not an offensive project. This is not about, any, it's, it's about us. And uh, we haven't done well. And so, yeah, but Pakistani young people, they're the bomb. They're amazing. They're going to do so much. And all, this, all these dreams and aspirations that I have for this country, they're the ones who are going to deliver them because we haven't. So I would just say, don't listen to old people. Thank you, Musharraf. It was amazing having this conversation with you. I'm really glad you think so. Thanks for, thanks for giving me a chance to air my views and thanks for being tolerant of, of them. Thank you.